Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in to my cast, Reto here. Let's get to Strong Cup and see where the wind carries us from there. Suspicion is nice and low again, thanks to our contribution to the safety of this county. And we still have one prisoner with us. Uh, I'll keep them. For now, I think we'll be able uh, to hand them over in a couple of days or so. Uh, let's see. Ooh, barely saw the, uh, the hemp over there. Um, we have some crowns. I want to see what kind of ponies they have. A stocky one. This sounds great, but it's, well, it's 5% uh, extra carrying capacity in the beginning. But it gets only lower as this one raises. Uh, but this one stays. You got all the willpower if you're next to a boar. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you are a thick skinned and brawny. Ay, ay, ay. Brawny is the best trait you can get, in my opinion, for a pony. The extra constitution for extra health and carrying capacity. And you are thick-skinned as well, and raised by boars. Okay, but you start off with a very low willpower. What's yours? 13. That's much better. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Like, this one has pretty much the same stats here. Except for willpower. And this one... This one's seven lower. Without a reason, to, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, guys, I think I really like this one. These are great traits. Let's see how much they demand to adopt it. 450? I think this is well within our budget. So, adopt. <laughs> okay, companions have no opinion on this choice. Well, I hope they come to appreciate it. Uh, later. Uh, yeah, we got the new companion. I don't think I'm going to buy the horseshoes. I think we can make them. Oh yeah, with 31 iron ore. That's all right. Oh, I could. Need a new companion. Snatch them from them. Oh, that's too much. No, nope. not gonna do that. That's not worth the crowns uh, saved. And here's just some... Oh, some salt. How about the salt? Up to 55, wow. Uh, um, ah, let's not do it. I don't want to get too much suspicion now that we are closing in on the village. Don't want to get surprised by a troop of guards. Alrighty. Let's take a quick look in our uh, precious chest over here. I think we have some more objects like the unaltered coat that I would like to place in. I could place the the brace inside or should I just sell it don't see that we're going to use it 
yeah, I think I'm gonna sell that. Okay, anything else? Those need to be uh, pieced together first. These are all crafting materials I'd like to keep. Should I put those creature comforts in? Because... Ah, I should use them. <laughs> I'm always a bit reluctant because I think, ah, oh, maybe I can do without them. But I should just use them up. I mean, makes no sense that they clock our inventory forever. Uh, okay, nothing else I'd like to put in. So, does Lady, Lady Mayoress have anything new to say? Happy to see you. Oh, nice to see Finally, you too. We can show you the true Stromkap, a thriving, peaceful, honest community. We have rid our streets of these wretched refugees. The Edoranians now know not to come here. Well, thankfully, we solved the <laughs> uh, war over there. So there shouldn't be too many more uh, troops of refugees anyway. Now we're here. Use my anvil. I would like I your repairs. Your armor. Yes, please. Here and there. Ooh. Nothing more. There. Have I missed this you. before? Give me that. Haha. -ha. Wonderful. Um, do we need some coal? Potentially, yes. Let's check the anvil. What we can actually make here. Ghost pike. There's some coal missing. Could make a new pike for our guys. Our spear people here. What's the. You are level 5 and level 4 with strength oil on it. Okay. The quadruple flurry of blows is really nice skill. But this one would be stronger and potentially deals double damage. Okay, so this could be worth making. Ghost bow not so much. I'm happy with the bows my archers have. Yeah, this is good enough. There's the horseshoes. They need more coal as well. So I think I'm gonna buy all of it. Or maybe grab <laughs> a little <laughs> while on it. Um, while unattended. Oh, we could make a reinforced buckler. For those two here. I think this would be great. Although the wood. I think I want the wood for upgrades here. We still have the tent. This doesn't need any wood. Okay. Um, which else do we have to make? The strategy table. This one uses... 12 wood and the whip with six. Hmm. Okay. Still, I think it would be more beneficial for us to get the reinforced buckler up. Oh, and maybe one of these just for the knowledge. Oh, and here are. The helmets. Oh yeah, let's make them. One of each. I would say, does this trigger the mini game? Yes. No! Oh, too early. Jesus! One of four. Man, that was bad. Still got one star. Okay. Takes less damage. Oh, deals more damage for each debuff they have. Okay. 
boy, that was bad. <laughs> Let's try with the Iron Borbute. Ah, much better. Double star, 8 armor, 5 guard, damage taken reduced by 10% for each debuff. Okay. And... Um, the Iron Baskinet. Yes, please, come on. Reflexes. Yes! There we go! Ooh, we hit Journeyman! Wonderful! 10 and 5, I guess. 2% extra guard for each layer applied to the armor. Okay. Beautiful. Well, that's that. And then I said I wanted some shields there we go yes come on we can do it nope ah okay got the knowledge point and the one star on the buckler 1014 not too bad let's try again Yes! Got it! Double star 11.15. There we go. And... What did I say I wanted to make? Ah, oh, the ghost pike. Need three more... Coal. Or I leave it at that at the moment. Oh yeah, let's make another pony armor. We need two more coal for that. And the horseshoe needs two each. So, uh, what did I say? Oh man, I'm sorry, need to check again. Okay, two more there and four more for you can use my anvil. other thing. I can also repair your armor. So we need six. E, that's too much. I wish I could try and steal like a portion. <laughs> I don't know if this works. I'm, I don't want to hit it now while I press shift. But that would be cool if it triggered the possibility to steal only a portion like it is possible to uh, open this uh, small window this pop-up to choose how many to buy so let's buy 10 for 50 and then check again mm. with bad luck we would get uh, wanted. Let's see how many I have to buy before we are sure we don't get wanted. That's the amount. Okay, let's take the rest. E90, good thing <laughs> he reduced the amount. Oh, bad roll there. Need to work on reducing it again. <laughs> Okay. Light pony plate. Let's go. Reflexes, come on. Yes! Got it! <laughs> Whoa! Three layers! Yes! Double star 6119. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Then over here, 
Uh, do I need... I still have enough wood for the whip. We need no iron ore whatsoever for it. Oh, we will be quite low on raw materials. I think that's all right. Because I want to have the ability to change saddlebags to horseshoes and vice versa. So there we have it. Oh, maybe we have too many now. We have four, six, eight, nine, ten. Ha! Ah, perfect. We have ten horseshoes. Oh yeah, new pony. Who oh, need to come up with a name? Oh, speaking of which, we have our dominant sow, and I regard this one as our lucky pig. <laughs> so, um, it shall provide us with a lot of luck. And therefore, and because it's already level 4 as well, I would like to name you. And I think... Darcy would be a nice name for you. And the other companions approve. Thank you for that. All right. Um, now the pony. I don't have a name yet. I didn't think I would adopt one. But here we are. Um, I want you to become a war pony too. In my opinion, the difference in carrying capacity isn't that great. Well, it increases as you go down here with the specializations, but it isn't too awfully much, and I can uh, cannot put it on the hitching post unless I remove... Uh, one of my ponies that's already on it. I hope there will be an extension one day. Maybe even a, uh, like a simple stock or something. A simple, uh, uh, log in the ground with, with a rope tied to it. So we could add some more benefits if we want, uh, want to have more ponies like we do. Then over here, I mean, constitution is great for extra health and carrying capacity. Uh, but I really like the rearing. It is very handy in late uh, combat, like round two, three or later. When you need to shift from one side of the battlefield to the other, this rearing still skill comes in really handy. So we have strength here for more damage. I take it. Willpower to 15. Sure. Movement. Perfect. Oh, the double roll is on willpower. Not gonna take that. Uh, I can't take it. And I'm not accepting a single one. I want as many points as I can possibly get. And we have the influence to spend. Oh, come on. Again, double roll on willpower. Uh, now I need to spend double unless I want to give you constitution. We're at 56. But again, I want the armor to take the damage, not your health. Oh, oh, no. Don't do this. Um, we will get one carrying capacity. Hmm. How much will we get here? Plus two, plus three, even. Ooh. Yeah, double strength it is. There we go. You come over here to the other war ponies. And I think the Dark Steed has earned the right to have the best one here. The only difference is an extra layer. But I'll take it. And then... Yeah, see, the Dark Steed is already at 80 carrying capacity. And if I compare it over here, you got a fourth 
more, so 25% more carrying capacity, which isn't too awfully much. Um, yeah, you got this one. The Bright Steed has earned the one with two layers and a little more armor and guard. And the new one gets the simple one. There we go. Hope you're happy. And surf as well. And we can equip you with something. Something. And that something has to be a horseshoe, I think. Don't have any more saddlebags at the moment. There's the horse horseshoe. Okay, think that's all right. Um, let's come over here. I want you to get the better reinforced buckler, and the time gets the a bit simpler one. There we go. As for helmets, this is a heavy one, and you could have it, but I like the ointment here. Surely not gonna change it. Who else was able to wear heavy armor? You're both medium, I think. Yes. Ah, uh, so it's only Borhal. When he's burning and has guard left, he gets double guard. And this one will give 2% guard for each layer. We have one layer on here, so an extra 2% guard. But it has less armor, less willpower, less critical damage. So that's not worth it. Over here... We could check if it is stronger than anything we have. It has a bit more guard. This has three more guard. Desertus Barbute. Iron Barbute. Damage taken reduced for each debuff. And this is damage dealt increased for each debuff. Okay, but here you get more guard, so I'll take this and potentially more damage reduction. That's all right for, for my taste. You, ah, oh, you have the very same helmet, that's okay, you keep this one. That's the one that increases damage by 20%. He would need to have two debuffs on him to get the same effect. And you got the same as Septenios, I think. Yes. Okay. Now over to the light helmet users. I like the Strychnine ones, although they have been nerfed. Um, this one is quite difficult to achieve, especially to remember how to trigger it. Need to move next to an ally and then hope for a critical hit. And then the adjacent allies gain brutality. Could give you this. Hmm. But I think it's not very helpful. And uh, this as well. Oh, that's also the Brutality one. Not very great. Oh, what I was wondering. We can't increase our range with the hat on skills like these, can we? Would like to test it out here. Plus one range. Nope, doesn't influence those skills here. Fair enough. Let's put this one back and wait a second. Toggle it off. There we go. 
and Rodnelia gets hers back. Okay, learn in the Compendium, Tiltron Restoration, there we go. Now we are at 25 points per raw material. Um, I think next I need to look, uh, take a look into the layers and where I want to apply which ones. But I think that's it for now. Here. Did a lot of work at the forge. So let's come over to my concoctions can heal the most Galilith. injuries. Be sure to I hold could on pay to 20 to be healed. Them. Or make more um, medicine here. Where are my vials? There we are, eight. And we have eight comfrey for four more medicine. I think I'm simply going to make it. Uh, what was this one again? Ah, oh, increased damage to animals. Okay. Um, I'll keep that. I want to spend 20. Now I think I'm gonna use a medicine. We have a <laughs> ridiculous amount. But first, let's see what... Quinos... Uh, yes, it is Quinos, right? Yeah, who? <laughs> Memory serves well. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, we have a concentrate here for the acidic oil. I want to try this one out. Make one and then I may have to make another acidic oil because it's used up now. Okay, ether we have made. Man, this one... Has it triggered once for us? I'm not sure. Not quite sure. Bee bomblet. Ah, more honey. Are we going to go <laughs> to, to uh, Cortia just for the honey? I wonder. I think I'll take a look at the uh, inn. Asking the emissary for work. And if we get good work here in Tiltron, I'll stay. And otherwise, uh, run about. More honey needed, okay. Here we need salt. This one is cool, I want to make more of the sharpening oil. And the perforating oil is great too. Ah, oh, but we need this crocswine thingamajig. And a million honey, okay. And over here, we can finally refine rhyme steel I want to use all up I hope I can recover some alisarian powder here oh we got quite a few things nine iron ore two rubies and a standstone great that's a great yield I'm happy with that <laughs> And we can make two more. Oh, okay. So he preserved two clusters. But it doesn't tell me in the pop-up after the pre uh, preparation. Okay, so he's saving up stuff uh, as he goes. But we can't uh, read it. Well, that's fine by me. All right, I think that's all. Let's check his level. Ooh, he's well on the way to master. And then come to Arenis and treat your injury. There you go, mate. Good stuff. Uh, ooh, he even preserved the acidic oil. I didn't need to make another one. <laughs> all right. So, what I want to do is the following. 
This one attacks for each thing that is applied more and more often. And I would like to apply burning with this blade in addition to bleeding from the ointment. I wonder if it would proc if we use the destabilizing strike, if the acidic oil would proc and set the enemy already ablaze and then we would have three attacks with this blade. So that's something to be tested. Let's apply the oil to the strong blade. Yes, please. And take a look. There's the concentrate for a hundred percent chance uh, to proc. Now we have the mirror black here. You keep this one. You have nothing. So you get this mirror. Okay. And ah, oh, the thing here more damage to enemies. Hmm. Oh, what would happen if I put the acidic oil on the fugitive's bow? I mean, it already creates fire, but would it also... Oh, maybe this could proc... Can we apply it? Oh yeah, we could. Um, this could proc... Sometimes if the fire is just barely touching the base of an enemy, they get the damage, but they don't get set on fire. So this one could help <laughs> intensify and make sure everybody uh, gets lit. Um, other than that, who would uh, could do well with some fire? Silice's Purgatory, maybe. But then again, fire is a bit harsh. We will use many valor points just putting it out again. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think I'll keep that for now. And for the extra damage to animals. I mean, Ronelia is a huntress. It would kind of fit to put it on this bow. Unfortunately, this one isn't upgradable. So maybe... But he is a friend of the beast, so I don't like him to deal extra damage to animals, um, to be honest. Hmm. Let's give it to Ronelia. The bow is great, I like it, and the level is... Fine. And now that there is rat bait, we can afford to experiment even more with the oils. Uh, knowing we can lure them uh, back into the nest again. Come, come. Well, well standing in the rain. I'll buy your hemp at least. I think for the rest, yeah, we're well stocked. With the rest... Oh, I forgot! There is now some stuff we can sell. Although I could also dismantle those things and retrieve part of the goods. They don't sell for too awfully much. Uh, anyway... 20 and 16 crowns. Yeah, I think I'm going to dismantle them. That's all right. You touch it, you buy it. Sure. Oh yeah, cabbage one for one. All the salt, of course. We got wheat. 38. I think that's enough. Is it? How much bread do we have? <laughs> 11 only. 
It's been a while since I baked. And then let's get all of them. If we don't eat them, we can always make some some alcohol with it. Um, 38 is enough. Those Even refugees. for my standards. I understand there's a war in Edoran, but that one doesn't mean one. they can just help themselves. With the poultry. Am I going to learn how to braise it? Yeah, I think it's worth. 18 more salt is great too. And since I remember, let's go and spend the point here. And finally we get to talk to the emissary and see who's here. An archeret, an archer, and a spear, woman, man, so, crazy hairstyle. Find out what's new until <coughs> Got an apple pancake. Hmm. Don't. Do we need one? We have only one left, and we get some crowns. Let's buy it. Okay, emissary. Be looking for work? All the dosh. Here is your reward. Thank you. And now, do we have some good work? I mean, we could try to go after Matthias Lund. See if we can beat him get his awesome weapon there's an easy one to the west maybe close to the bandits lair it's vanquishing a squad oh free the lighthouse that's great that's one of the points i want to liberate uh here it is i think these are skull bandits reducing the power of the uh bandits lair there and the other one is over here, Mount Altis Tower, that I want to get a contract for. And the mine over here. Okay. It is a bit in a lonely spot, though. I wished we had another contract close by. But I'm taking this one. And we can afford to negotiate a better price. 65 influence yeah we can spend that wonderful 360 is good enough for me there's the marker this one could be close to the lair is it time to go off to matthias because he will be close to the one i just accepted let's see can we get a good price over here Negotiate. Uh, 105 puts us at 64. I think that's good enough. Come on, do it. Yes! Yes! 584 crowns. Accept. There we go. Beautiful. Do I want to replace one of my work ponies with the new one so we can catch up with levels? Although it's not that much behind, I would say. 616 over here. You are at zero, level five. I mean, I could remove the Doric Steed, put you on so you could catch up. Dark Steed is at 705 on level 6. Let's quickly check with our heroes. Yeah, that's pretty much among them. Well, at least among the older ones. Um, so I could remove you. Let's put you over to the bear. If it wants to move, come on, come on, come on, 
There we go. Now turn around, please. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right. And then the new pony can take its place on here to get a boost. You still can't flee, that's good. And then we have things to do. Over here, could make another saddlebag in case I want to put it on the new pony. Uh, let's make one. These we have made. Oh, potentially we can upgrade something oh, or build the whip. Let's do it. For the knowledge and to satisfy my curiosity, can we place a prisoner on it? Let's put them over here. If we overdo it with the whipping, uh, the gurney isn't far <laughs> to heal them again. So, assigned companion, you can whip your companion to encourage them to work. I mean, you'd have to be a quite a cruel leader to do this to your companions. Ooh, indeed. Okay. So the prisoner is now on the whip. I guess I, I think he is the one being whipped, right? Not the one with the whip going around <laughs> our camp now. Am I right? I hope. Now I get the option to use it. Whipping your companions can encourage them to produce more resources when they are assigned to production equipment in the camp. That's how it works. Okay. So, a little test here. I think I want Septanios off, and you come over here. Oh, oh, from over here. There's a chance you can flee. If you are there, maybe I need to put some of my guys closer to you afterwards. But then I could come in here and you would produce three leather during the next rest. And if I came in now and whipped you, where are you? There he is. Prisoner tanning rack. Let's whip him. And see how they increase the production. It still says three for three. I guess we'll have to see uh, what happens. It doesn't tell me anywhere. Whether he's whipped or not now. Um, there are some positive effects. Despite <laughs> he appreciates the troops' company, okay. Feels unhappy to be guarded by animals. <laughs> well, that's what you get. Could we put our animals closer? How about you guys come over here? How's your chance now to flee? 20%. I think... Do you have anything you need to launder? I don't think so. Okay, Galim, come over here, please. Put 
Look at the prisoner, make sure they do not flee. There we go. Okay, a bit cramped here, but I want to test it, test out uh, what we get. Oh, look at this, he is quick and strong. Could we ask them to join? I think there is an option, but I can't remember what we have to do. Maybe we'll, we would have to move him further away from the animals. And then maybe one day he would uh, um, like to join. But I think I'm gonna hand him over to the prison anyway. So he should be whipped now. Can I whip him again? Uh, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see soon. Um, since the energy is quite low already. Okay, over here. Um, I want the time to be of a better level before I go in into the meals. So let's cook the simple ones. With which we can't make any anything else anyway. There we go. More knowledge. Perch broth. And a couple. And down here. Oh yeah, let's make some. Oh, this uses up a lot of salt. Do we need salt over here? No, we don't. Okay. Yeah, then let's make all of them. Hopefully we get a delicious one. Ooh, we do. Haha. -ha. Okay. Thanks for that, sit time. One more pork we could grill. Or let's make a bread. There we go. Over here, oh, we have another legendary craftsman and innovative one. And guinea pig, use three oils. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, so I think, yeah, we'll leave it at that for today. Um, we did all the preparations we could for new adventures. So thank you very much for joining me uh, on today's cast. I really appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please press the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and help me make it grow. I'd super appreciate it. So I wish you all the best and I'll see you next time.